Brussels is concerned about disinformation coming from Russia in view of upcoming national and European elections. European Commission Vice President Vera Jourova says she's convinced the Kremlin is already active in manipulating European voters. She now wants tech's biggest companies that signed a voluntary code of practice on disinformation earlier this year to help fight it. There is a war in the information space waged against us and that there are upcoming elections where malicious actors will try to use the design features of the platforms to manipulate. Upcoming national elections and the EU elections will be an important test for the code that platforms, signatories should not fail. Some of the largest online platforms like Google and Meta that signed the code of practice six months ago now published a first report on Tuesday showing how they've turned commitments to reduce the spread of disinformation into practice. According to the report, millions of fake accounts were identified and misleading content was restricted. Commissioner Jourova also had a message for Elon Musk, who withdrew Twitter from the voluntary code of practice earlier this year. Mr. Musk knows that he is not off the hook by leaving the, the code of practice, because now we have the Digital Services Act fully in force, as Twitter has been designated as the very large online platform. Of course, there are uh, obligations given by the hard law. So uh, my message for Twitter is uh, you have to comply with the, with the hard law and uh, we will uh, be watching what you are doing. According to her, it's the combination of AI and disinformation which is creating the biggest headache. So how easy is it to address these new challenges? This analyst says that the largest platform's dominance can be challenging and also that the EU's current policies are not enough. <laughs> Οι πλατφόρμες θέλουν κινητικότητα σε ό,τι αφορά το περιεχόμενο. Το πραγματικό περιεχόμενο πολλές φορές δημιουργεί αυτή την κινητικότητα. Οπότε πάνε να αντιμετωπίσουν κάτι το οποίο από την άλλη τους δημιουργεί το όφελος και το κέρδος το οποίο θέλουν. Οπότε είναι μια σημαντική παράμετρος στην καταπολέμηση της παραπληροφόρησης, αλλά υπάρχουν και άλλες σημαντικές διαστάσεις όπως είναι η εκπαίδευση. Ο κόσμος, οι πολίτες από μικρή ηλικία πρέπει να εκπαιδευτούν, να αποκτήσουν αυτή την κριτική ματιά απέναντι στα ψηφιακά μέσα. Another solution being proposed includes technologies that automatically identify fake news.